little sigh here. So I'm in the mood to make some Christmas ornaments. And I know I made that one already, but I would like to make some more. So I went to Google and I picked out some pictures of some stuff, Christmassy looking stuff. And I have this really flat wood that's like, you know, it, it, it tongue and grooves together. Anyway, we bought this to do stuff on the house and uh, we ended up doing something different. So I have a big old pile of this stuff. Yeah, smells good. Anywho, it's nice and thin and I thought it would be perfect for the Christmas ornaments. Yeah. Okay, let me see how, I, how many I have. I have one, two, three, nine, 10, 11, 12. I have 12, just like the days of Christmas, cool. So I glued those all to the thin pieces of wood. And I put in a small number one blade and adjusted the saw and then cut them out. I started with the candy cane and then I continued on with the rest. Here they are, except I didn't want to make two Christmas trees, so I didn't cut that one out. So I found a ship I really liked and I cut that out too. I'm gonna do just a little bit of sanding on these and that's it. And then I'm gonna glue all the pieces together and I might paint them some too. I think I'll start with this Christmas tree. While sanding this, I discovered how difficult it was to hold these little pieces. Oh, and of course I was thinking, oh, Christmas tree to myself. Okay, I'm gonna glue it together. I use DAP CA glue. It has a 30 second set time. Love this stuff. Mmm. I wonder if I should have painted it first. I'm so excited to be out here today. Listen, I, I have my Jingle Bell socks on. Yay! And it's 53 degrees, woo! Which makes it a little bit kind of warm in here. Yeah. So I will take that off and get started. Yeah. So before I glue, I'm gonna paint this one. Yeah. While I was doing this, I realized I should have sanded it first before painting. So I decided to stop and sand. It's really hard to sand these little tiny pieces. So I figured out to put sandpaper here and just do one side at a time. But I still have to knock off the fuzzies by holding it and hitting it with the sandpaper. Okay, all done sanding. Now back to painting, yeah. and that sanded off a little bit of that paint. So I'll start with that one again. I'll start with that one again. I used watercolors and they worked great for these ornaments. It sort of acts like a stain rather than a paint, which is good in some ways and bad in other ways. I'm not sure how long this will take to dry, but I'm excited to glue it together to see how it looks. And this is so messy, I'm thinking, hmm, about painting that Christmas tree. I think it's definitely better to pre-paint it. Yeah, ooh, good landing. Yeah, I let that dry now, woo! I let that dry overnight and glued it up with the DAP glue again. I really like the way this turned out, so I ended up painting all of the other ones that weren't glued up yet. Another cold day brought me back inside the house. My little heater works, but it just can't compete when it's under 40. So here I am gluing the Santa and the snowman, and these two are my favorites. And I love that they are automatically two-sided. Awesome. I used a pencil and I drew on the eyes and the mouth and then I went over that with the wood burner, making sure to do both sides.
and here they are. All in all, I had five unpainted, six painted, and one messed up one. Cool! So now I just have to figure out how to put like an attachment on them to hang them from the tree. I was able to use a small eye hook on most of them, but the candle, the Christmas tree, and the little house, I glued twine on one side. So thanks for watching everybody! This was a lot of fun, but they're very, very small pieces. Yikes! I think I kind of like these that don't have paint. But the ones with the paint, I really like a lot. Have fun decorating your Christmas tree! And we'll see you next time. Ooh, I need to get a tree. Yeah. I learned a few things making these, like choose a picture that isn't too detailed and make sure the top has a sturdy piece so an eye hook can be used for hanging. Also, sand the pieces before painting and paint the pieces before gluing. And with watercolors, it bleeds into the next door piece, like this one. And I tried to sand it, but I ended up throwing it away. Oh well, that leaves me with 11 ornaments to hang on the tree. And now we just gotta go find one. So thanks for watching everyone, and we'll see you next time. Bye!